proficient. Oh. He's... He wants... I'm in. Go away. So Fishin wants you out? He doesn't. Doesn't find me friendly enough. So who are you then? Who cares? Oh, you don't even introduce yourself? I'm a friendly person. All right. I'm a reptilian. Which one? Which one? We have five species, right? Dealing with us. Oh. From the most friendly to the least friendly. Which, uh, one is, which one is yours? Oh, who cares? We have Lashunda, Fentina, something like that, and three others. Why are you so hung up on that kind of thing? Oh, we have some other things to deliver. Okay, what, 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 what do you have? I want to say that I'm happy oh, for nice. you for standing up for yourself. Oh, thank you. You have more strength than some humans. It's just from understanding how things are. I'm, I really understand the business of making television, <laughs> television shows. and uh, You understand nothing. But you think you do. Yes, but yes. At the same, at the moment, I'm driven by the idea that I want yes, to create a better you, show. Yes, you're driven. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Mind. But that's fine. Strength is strength, and that is honorable. Anything else? Oh well. There is other things. All right. But you would have to ask the right questions. Okay, poetry, biology, politics. Those aren't questions. Oh, you know, the topic which is dear to you. Are you into poetry and blessings? No. Are you into biology of reptilians? Meh. Are you into hybrid program? That's interesting. All right, so what's happening with human reptilian hybrids? They're not getting as much as they should. They go, through, they go through that adolescent period and they become vegetables. Ah. And they just, it lasts for almost a year and they can't take it. Ah. They have several mental problems with them. Oh. Where are they located? Are they on uh, in the space? No, they're on Earth. On Earth? The ones that were given percentages of reptilian DNA don't seem to deal with it very well. Don't we already have tons of reptilian DNA within our genome? Yes, but the newly added stuff is not good for them, I guess. Oh. If it comes down through generations, then it's accepted into the geno pool, assimilated. But this stuff that we give them, this DNA hybridization, causes problems in their minds after about uh, several years. It's different with each one. So what kind of problems? They, Are they depressed? They become depressed and they don't, can't think, they can't function. The ones which can, do they become military? No, 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 no. They just stay where they are. I see. Do you also infuse uh, human DNA into reptilians and get more of human Reptilian hybrids on your planet? Uh, it has been tried. Uh huh. It just has very little effect. I see. So hybridization. Um. So your your hybridization program is not going too well at the moment. Uh, 
But you're possibly hybridizing not only with Earth humans, you're hybridizing with other humanoids, right? Lyrans, Pleiadians, Syrians. Yeah, whoever gives us permission. Would it be more beneficial to mix together several races and that might balance things? No, that messes things up if you do too much. I see. Then things start fighting in their systems and their things don't work properly and it causes early death. I see. The functionalities of different species in one causes the organs to fight one another because they do not function the same in every species. I understand. So what's the goal of this hybridization? Oh, to bring some sense to these people. Uh huh. What kind of sense? That they're so weak in their actions. They do not stand for what they really believe. And they, half the time, don't even know what they believe. That's right. I see. So what about politics? So can you speak about politics? Your politics? Yeah. Suck. Right. What's your involvement, your species races involvement in the politics? Are you influential with finances? Oh, they're so greedy. They can't even listen to, to reason. They hear the right message and they do the wrong thing. Oh, I observe it all the time. Yeah. I cannot deal with that. I have not dealt with them for many years, personally. Because oh. I cannot stand their hypocrisy. Right. How about... They say yes, 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 but then it's all a lie. I know. So, how about how many aliens and hybrids are working on the surface of the Earth, the ones which grew up in alien culture? Who cares? Oh, for us, it's very important. Like, Why? Why is it important? You're not going to find out what they're, where they are, what they're doing. So why no? But, you know, the opinions vary. Like, some people say that people all around, like, there is high percentage of aliens walking around. Others say there is very little percentage. Is it above uh, 10%? It depends on who you talk to. Right. Where you, if you want to talk about reptilians, there's a lot of them down there, yeah. So they just visit short for short periods of time? Sometimes. There's some living down here. Down here? Are you here too? No. Down there? Okay. I couldn't stand it. I see. So what do they do here? I would end up cap capturing them and putting them away because they're just ridiculous. The reptilians which live here? There are. Why? They have their reasons. So they live human lives or they live reptilian lives and just appear as humans? They appear as humans, but they're not always appearing as humans. They cannot stay in a human form. Mm -hmm. So they have to find places where they can be their own form. Yes. Do they know that they're reptilians? Do they remember reptilian culture? Yes. Ah, and do they communicate to each other down here? Not often. Oh, so they're like individuals who... Are With individual missions, yes. Ah. Do they have like, do they... F uh, try to take over the Earth? The... I don't know if that's what they would call it. It is influential. I see. So, but it's not a takeover. Ah. It's more of a... Use. Okay, it could be a takeover, but it's only in certain areas. Uh-huh. So, but they're not out to... To the whole world, it's impossible at this time. I see. Is there any culture which is more 
infiltrated with reptilians and others. Culture on Earth. Reptilian? Oh, what cultures? Culture, racist countries on oh, Earth. Oh, the stronger cultures, of course. So it would be English-speaking ones? Yes, and German, and Russian, and Palestinian. Israel? Israel, some. Ah. Huh. Yes. Interesting. How about a Asian ones? Yes, of course. So everything, you know. Would they be in control of military and finances and government or would they live like normal lives with low influence? There's some in everything. Uh-huh. Did I meet any reptilians which would be influential in my life? Do you know? Did? Uh, sure. Who would they be? You can't tell? I wouldn't tell you. Like, okay, scientists? Yes, of course. Ah. Would they know that they're reptilians? Yes, of course. Interesting. It might explain why they sometimes they are very nice and sometimes they are very negative, right? Correct. <laughs> Are you part of Gurkfitnir? No. But you're friendly? Yeah, we so, don't hurt anybody. So it would be species number three or number two, I guess. We're, we're considered not good, but not bad. Oh, so they're in the neutral ones. Out of five, you would be the neutral one. Yeah, I guess. I hate that word. Oh, I understand. The strong one. <laughs> Do you have a name which you can share? We need some some uh, some name for a species. Now now your species number three, the neutral one. If you can give me some name, we're we not can... neutral. Right. <coughs> How about giving a name? <laughs> some name. So at least something we can refer to you. The risers. Risers from rising, rising up. Rising up out of the the muck that the the bad ones are just wrong and the good ones are getting mamby pamby uh-huh you have to have a balance you know All right it's risers so that is what makes your race proud that you're rising we're rising and we're strong i see what is uh, your vibrational frequency? How, where are you dimensional? Ah, we don't measure that shit. All right, how telepathic you guys are? We are telepathic, yes. Do you have to see each other to be telepathically connected? Not always. Are you in any way a hive mind? What do you mean by that? Like greys. Grey is a hive mind. Yael have a big component of hive mind. I guess there's some of that. Ah. So how, how much... You, I guess in solar system there is very few of you, right? Your main presence is outside of solar system, isn't it? We're right? here. We just don't make ourselves known. Is it a big species? How many of you are? Like millions, billions? Uh, millions and billions, billions. Just like you. Except we're a lot smarter. Oh, but you're in a different dimension. You have to dimensionally shift to be here. We can go interdimensional, yes. Is that it? technology's been around for a while. Oh. Do you have cities on Earth? No. Other dimensional Earth, you don't have cities on other dimensional Earth. What do you mean, other dimensional Earth? We've never been to other dimensional Earth. Oh. We've been through the other dimensional timeline. Ah. Which, I guess, is the same thing. I see. We just don't call it that. But where do you live? We don't live here, but we don't see you, right? No, we're on our ships. Oh, you're on the ships. In solar system. Some of them are there. We have our planets. 
Oh, when we see your ships, are these like balls of light? Yeah, that's us. Huh. Other reptilians have balls of light as well. We all share some things. Huh. And you go in formations and show that you're brave and strong in our skies. Yeah, we're not afraid. I see. What are your weapons? Do you use phasers? Weapons. <laughs> yeah, weapons, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm sorry for asking that question, but I asked it before, so it's not unusual. Do you eat humans? No. Would you eat some of our animals? Would it be compatible with your biology? Uh, your animals are not what we would want to eat, no. So what would we eat then? We eat more insects-like uh, huh. creatures. The insects on our planet are as big as your animals. I understand. Oh, here is a very nice philosophical question. So, on Earth, the reptilians preceded the mammals, right? Uh, and the ga in the galaxy, I assume that reptilians preceded the mammals. Is it right? Pretty much, yeah. Except for those from other galaxies. Uh huh. So, is it true to say that both reptilians and mammals? came to Earth from outside? Pretty much, yeah. So what you do is... did have the beginnings of life on your planet, and that's why they came and brought things. They saw it was sustainable. So our planet is a few billions years old, right? And 4.5. Yes, thank you. So the Homo sapiens in the galaxy appeared after the birth of the Earth, so the humans came to the galaxy after Earth already formed. The reptilians first were on their planet, and then the humans, Lyrans, came to the galaxy. Yeah. Is it right? Yeah, that's close enough. And it's like less than a billion years ago, so it's something... It's a long, drawn-out story. You don't want to know it. Uh. <laughs> How ancient is your species? It's pretty old. Uh, Older than humanity, that's for sure. Older than humanity in the galaxy? Yes. Uh-huh. What's your origin? Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri. Hmm. Nice. I have some interest in Alpha Centauri. Yes. Mm, you're not alone. They bug us all the time. Oh. You're not living there anymore? No, who wants to live there? <laughs> What's your favorite uh, human celebrity? Uh, celebrity? Yeah, somebody. You mean famous person? Yes, human famous person. Who would you like? That Russian guy. Who's the, the, the king over there? What's his name? Putin? Putin, yeah, he's cool. Is he reptilian? He's pretty much. Uh huh. He's. He's understands us better than anybody else on your planet. Uh huh. What are your favorite Earth movies? What would you recommend? Uh, I don't watch your Earth movies that much. I've seen five to ten minutes of a few of them. I see. They're so pathetic. Uh-huh. Uh, the best one that I watched 15 minutes of was Scarface. Scarface. Uh-huh. 
What's good in the human culture? Is anything good here? I don't really think so. <laughs> All right, what's bad in the human culture? Deception? Deception, stupidity. lies, stupidity, weakness. I see. Duality, it just, you have it all. You have all the, the crap. What's the, uh, don't you have duality in your, duality in your culture? Not as much. So you're just fighters and you're strong, right? We're strong. We only fight when we have to. Ah. Do you have peaceful professions, people who are peaceful? Yes. What do they do? Well, they do stuff like this. Channeling? Channeling. They also bring messages to places that need strength. We tried to bring our message to your planet, but it's not ready. Uh -huh. Also, we have people, you call them people, we call them Rick. We have our Ricks that uh, bring writings and knowledge to others. We have our Ricks that control the governments. We have our Ricks that are military. Oh. So what is Rex? Supervisors? Rex. Guidance? Reptilians. That p peers. You would call them peers. Peers. I call them Rex. Uh -huh. So what makes your race proud? What's your... Everything. Best achievement? We're, we're the way that we want to be and that's great. Uh -huh. We're strong, we're smart, we're powerful. We're moving upward in s vibrational oh, thoughts. Wonderful. So it's also you're doing the same thing. You're striving to raise in vibration. Interesting. Yes, but in a strong way, not in a namby-pamby way. What do you wear? What's your fashions? Fashion. Fashion. What's fashion? It's like dress. What's your dress? Dress. I couldn't even describe it to you. It's I don't know those words about fashion. I see. What's percentage of your body is covered with fabric and other things? 70%. Oh, so you wear something. Yes. And your tails are pretty? Pretty? What's pr- Oh, pretty. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, oh, you don't want to be pretty. You want to be strong. So your tails are strong? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll change the subject. I want to see how you look. Uh, so you you stand on two legs and you have two hands and you have a mouth? I have two legs and two hands and a big mouth. Like crocodile? Alligator? Dinosaur? Uh, not that big. Tyrannosaur? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh huh. Big tools. You can when you speak, we can see the teeth. Yes, you can see our teeth, and some of them are sharp, and some of them are not. Oh, so you eat vegetation as well? Vegetation is good. I see. So if you fight, uh, would you fight physically ever? Yes. Would you use your tail as? Many a... of our competitions are fighting with different kinds of weapons, ah. but not to the death as it used to be, uh -huh. but only to the first two body hits, and then uh -huh. it's done. But that can mean death as well, but I it's see. not meant to be. I see. 
So our martial arts would be after reptilians, I would say, like Taekwondo, or Karate. Yeah. But you're much stronger than humans, so all karate is meaningless, helpless against you, right? It's slow. Oh, you're fast? We're very, very fast. Ah. Oh. But you can you breathe air? Oh, I guess you can, right? Because you have reptilians on here. We have adjusted to your atmosphere. Uh-huh. But it was not easy. Uh-huh. However, there was some technology that helped. So the reptilians who are down here, they would have to eat human food. They would, yes. And then they might, I know, if they need insects, I mean, it's really hard to get so many insects down here. It is our way to bring some of our food with us. Ah, but how would you supplement your ration uh, diet if you need an insectoid matter and it's really hard for a human reptilian to get it here don't worry we get it oh they have support from above they like they are technologically supported yes so they get nutrients and they kind of travel back and forth for each generation <sighs> what do they have to beam up once in a while to get their body you know optimized uh, like, not often, but every now and then, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Uh, Makes sense. Thank you. I that. was on Earth about 20 years ago. Oh. That's where I learned to speak your primitive language. Oh, you speak it well. Well, I had to. Ah. Oh. Did you... Were you on the military base and... Yes. Oh. Yeah, that was a good guess. On American? Yes. Ah, so you met with American military. How did they treat you? Were they afraid? No, I was looking human at the time. Oh, I see. So if you're in a human shape, would you be a good fighter still or you would have to transform into a reptilian yeah, I shape? I was the best. Oh. I knew how to use those dinky little bodies. Oh, so when you confirm, convert back to reptilian, you would become much bigger? Somewhat bigger, yes. Somewhat bigger. Oh. Do reptilians dance? Dance? Yeah. Um. Dance, if I guess, not the way you do. Uh huh. Do you play games like our soccer, volleyball, like ball games? We used to do things like that. So when you move. If you exclude the head and the tail, would the movement, are the proportions of your body any similar to humans? Do you have knees and same number of, you know, the, your... Can a reptilian be confused for human if, they, if, exclude, if I don't pay attention to the head and the tail? Are the proportions the same? Similar. Similar. Isn't it strange that the humanoid body of such distant evolutionary distance would still have the same shape. Aren't you surprised? No. It's a logical formation. Ah. It logically comes up through evolution that that is a shape that is logical. I understand. So do you use your tail as a weapon? Not anymore. Not anymore. Our tails are much smaller than they used to be. And at some point, they can be removed for... give you faster reaction times. Interesting. Do you have sex in the same way the humans do? Similar. But you don't have breasts. The women. Uh, 
they don't need breasts. I understand, but you know, for human shape, you know, breasts are important, just for aesthetics. They are flat, just in according to your women. Yeah, I understand. Uh, do you uh, hug? Do you express love and hugging and touching? We crash into each other. Crush. So you touch, we but bump. Like... We crash. Bump. 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 Uh huh. Do you shake hands or something like that when you meet? No. I see. Sometimes we put our hands on each other's shoulders. Ah. So, is uh, etiquette and behavior is very is, are they be important in your culture? Behavior. Showing respect and things yes, like that. Yes, 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 yes. And hierarchy. Yes. But you don't expect from humans to show the same. You. You know, if humans meet reptilians, they, you know, and humans are ignorant, it doesn't really matter, right? Showing, yeah. Showing the no, I learned your human ways. I see. Yeah. Barely acceptable. Do you have, like, different dress for different hierarchical positions? Of course. And you're ruled by monarchy or something like that? Uh, it depends where you are. But if you're in a ship, you're not ruled by anyone but the captain. Oh, the captain. I see. The rules from the planet don't exist. You make your own rules for space. Oh, how is your economy? Who is, you know, distributing the resources? How is it done? Everyone gets the same. Oh, really? They get what they need, let's put it that way. Uh, suppose I have a project, and I believe my pro I'm a reptilian. Suppose I'm a reptilian, and I have a project, and I, my project needs more resources. How do I get more? Yes. And there is another competing project. Well, then, you know, the leaders of the projects fight. How, how does it happen? How is it decided which project gets more resources? It depends on what the leaders think the outcome will be. If one seems to have a better outcome than the other, then the one will get more than the other. So the superiors decide. Some, some. It goes up. It's somewhat like your bureaucracy, but it's not quite as lengthy. It uh, happens very quickly. Because you have telepathy. Yes. Do you have like consoles and a way of collectively deciding things? Yes. Much less pronounced than Pleiadian Arcturian CAL, right? Yes. So there is more individuality and more individuals who are. You designed. ask a lot of questions. Oh, I'm trying to understand your race. Who cares if you understand it? Oh, it goes on record, it will be published. So yeah, humans yeah. will understand you better. <laughs> They'll never understand me. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much for your visit. Uh, mm. And thank you for your time. So. It was helpful. Razors. It's nice. Raz risers. 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 I'm sorry. Risers. Razors is a sharp object. I am. Uh, sorry for my English. Risers. Interesting. Oh, what's your god? Let me out of here. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day.